Okay, let me just say something about section 11.4. Section 11.4 gives several conditions, required conditions, for two groups to be isomorphic. These conditions are contained in theorem 11.4.1. .1. So these conditions can be used to show cases where groups are not isomorphic because if two groups do not satisfy the requisite conditions, then they can't possibly be isomorphic. First of all, two groups can only be isomorphic if they have the same number of elements. Uh, second of all, well, here, uh, we know that if you have an isomorphism, then the inverse map is also an isomorphism. That's proved in the chapter. Second, third of all, if G is abelian, it can only be isomorphic to an abelian group. Now, you can have two non-abelian groups that are isomorphic, but they both have to be non-abelian. If only one is non-abelian and the other is abelian, then there's no way they can be isomorphic. Similar with cyclic. If you have two groups, one is cyclic and one is not, then they can't possibly be isomorphic. Five and six are more powerful. Five says that if I have an element of order n in the group G, and G is isomorphic to H, then H also has an element of order N. So, for example, if I have a group that has an element of order 8, and the other group has, element, has no element of order 8, then those two groups cannot possibly be isomorphic. So you can check on the orders of the elements of each group. Uh, 5 is actually a special case of 6. 6 says that if G has a subgroup, uh, called G prime, then uh, H must also have a subgroup that's isomorphic to G prime. So subgroups of isomorphic groups are also, every subgroup of, an, of isomorphic groups also has an isomorphic subgroup. All right, so let me draw the picture so you can see what that looks like. If I have a group G and another group H, and if I have an isomorphism phi, if I have a subgroup G prime, of course G prime is also going to contain the identity, then this G prime will map to a set. We know that phi is one to one and onto, so phi of G prime will map to a set of the same size. And this will also contain the identity. If this is the identity of G, I'll call it E. This is the identity of uh, phi of G, I'll call it F. Now it turns out that phi G prime must be isomorphic to phi of g prime. So if you've got big groups that are isomorphic and you've got a little group inside, it has to have another group in the other one to which it's isomorphic. Okay, so if you have a group and you have a subgroup in that group and you know there's no corresponding subgroup in the other group, those two groups can't possibly be isomorphic. All right, so you can look here, you can look at S4 and D D12 and think about the elements or the subgroups of these two groups and compare them and show that they can't possibly match up. Use some of these conditions. You can check through one by one and see which conditions they don't satisfy. All right, And uh, that's the way to go ahead and show that these are not isomorphic. Okay.